Early Morning Crypto Talk, Bitcoin, Brandon from Los Angeles, California here. You guys are going to start off having a good Sunday. Go ahead and type in the chat box where you're listening in from. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube channel. So we have Moshe Frazier from Philadelphia, Tony Kingston, Philly, Cleve Stewart, New York, Jay Guillory, Juanita Nunez, good morning, good morning, Court Gomes from Florida, as a disclaimer, I am not a licensed financial advisor to be giving financial advice. I read the news, get my opinion, share a suggestion, and it is up to you to make an informed, intelligent decision on which direction you want to move into. Benita Nunez from Pennsylvania. Philly's in the house today. There's four rules I live by in the crypto space to have success. Rule number one, education is key. Education is everything. Rule number two, Never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Rule number three, always get a return on investment as fast as possible. And rule number four, where do you see yourself in three months, six months, a year from now? What are you willing to do to make that happen? Find a vehicle, make a decision, take action, and remain focused. Do not get distracted. Now, following these rules is not going to guarantee you success, but it will at least minimize your risk. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the most that we can ask for. All right, so you should be able to see the screen. First thing we always do is we're going to cover the market. What is the market looking like today? Coin market cap has at 144 billion dollar market cap btc dominance is at 50.2 percent that's dropping a little bit so money is in the altcoin however i see red but it's minimal this is flat dash is up seven percent tazo 16 percent i see best case from bitcoin crossover 4100 best performers last 24 hours TTC protocol, 
elastos, tasels, nulls, the ion dash, nano. Worst performers, AVBC coin, Aurora, Raven coin, Q coin shares. Augur, IOSD, Mixin, BitShares, Cryptonex. And I want to look a little bit closer. So the 24 hour high was at 41.14. So we're right at where the 24 hour high was. And the low is at 40.62. So it's been hovering above this $4,000 range for a couple of days. Let's look at. What happened to BitHum? $20 million BitHum hack exposes alarming threat to Bitcoin exchanges. BitHum, the largest Bitcoin exchange in South Korea alongside Upbit, has been hacked for around 20 million. Whoa, is it the North Koreans again? The company said that user funds stored in crypto cold storage wallets were not hacked, but corporate funds were moved. BitHum hack, likely an inside job. Cold storage wallets refer to offline wallets that are not connected to the internet, that major exchanges utilize to eliminate the vulnerability of user funds and potential security breaches. In a surprising turn of events, BitHum disclosed that it believes the hack was an inside job and funds might have been moved by individuals associated with the company. In its official statement, BitHum said that the company is conducting intensive investigations with cyber authorities in South Korea, acknowledging the incident as an inside job. As a result of the internal inspection, it is judged that the incident is an accident involving insiders. Based on the facts, we are conducting intensive investigations with KISA, cyber police agency, and security companies. At the same time, we are working with major exchanges and foundations and expect to recover the loss of the cryptocurrency equivalent, the statement read. Bidhum said that the exchange has increasingly focused on preventing external attacks and hacking attacks in the past year, which is evident in the exchange ratings released by the Korea Internet and Security Agency in August 2018. Previously, KISA investigated all Bitcoin exchanges in South Korea to find potential vulnerabilities and poor security measures on the country's crypto asset trading platforms. The agency found most exchanges to have weak security system is in place, but cleared BitHum, UpBit, Corbit, CoinS, CoinLink, CoinOne, CoinPlug, and Huobi for having robust security and internet internal management systems. There still exists many cryptocurrency exchanges with subpar security systems, and as such, investors are cautioned in investing through unrecognized platforms. The government will continue to monitor and evaluate cryptocurrency exchanges to improve the standard of security employed by trading platforms. Kim Jong Sam, the information protection officer at Kisa said at the time. As explained by BitHum, the company failed to consider the possibility of insiders, including employees and contractors, breaching into the system. How can you not consider that as a possibility? Breaching into the system of the exchange to steal millions of funds held by the company. One positive takeaway from the incident is that BitHum stored most of the user funds in cold wallets that cannot be accessed by hackers and the damage was limited as a result. More importantly, stolen funds were reportedly sent to other exchanges which can be recovered if frozen immediately. But it remains uncertain how a company could prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future and prevent insiders from engaging in malicious activities, the company said. BitHum Exchange is certified ISMS and applied to multi-signature withdrawal schemes. We constantly monitor and block external hacking. However, it was our fault that we only focused on defensive outside attack 
and lack of verification of internal staff. The exchange said that it would essentially overhaul its internal workforce verification system and restrict the authority employees and contractors have over the internal management system used by the firm. So how should Bitcoin exchanges protect themselves? The recent hacking attack suffered by BitHum is not as serious as previous security breaches because user funds were not lost in the process and the system of the exchange was not exploited. But it raises a new threat in the Bitcoin exchange ecosystem. And in the near term, major cryptocurrency trading platforms will have to find solutions to prevent similar incidents from arising. Yeah, here's what you do. Don't keep your coins on an exchange as storage. You only have coins on there that you're trading with and you move it off. Pay the fee. I have somebody tell me, yeah, yeah, Brandon, that sounds good, but what's the likelihood that I'm actually going to get hacked? I mean, I got to pay the fee every time I, I do a transfer. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, but pennies? Trying to save pennies? Paying those fees is much better than all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're in Quadriga. <laughs> And the owner of the company stole everybody's money. All right. Last up is this, um, found this caught my attention. These cryptocurrency data sites aim to be more accurate than CoinMarketCap. Now, I use CoinMarketCap religiously. However, I do know that Sometimes it is off or it's not as real time, which is why I always have like Poloniex Exchange up next to it. Poloniex got what the price is at 4102. Coin market cap has it at, let's see, 4104. Pretty close, but it hasn't moved in 24 hours. That's why. And I think they're, they're tied to what coin, Coinbase looks at. All right, let's see here. The true size of the cryptocurrency market may be as little as 5% of its officially reported total. Say what? 5%? The true size? Okay, that means if the market cap's at $144 billion, you're saying the entire crypto market cap is only 5% of that number right there? Hmm, catching my attention. CoinMarketCap, CMC, the leading market data website, has been accused of unquestioningly publishing crypto exchange figures. Despite compelling evidence of manipulation by many trading venues, including a glut of Asian platforms, now a number of market data websites have ramped up pressure on exchanges to provide accurate figures. Due to its dominance, Coin market cap exerts a significant pull over the cryptocurrency market, incentivizing exchanges to inflate their reported trading volume. In a bid to game the ratings system, CMC ranks exchanges by both reported and adjusted volume. In a bid to thwart the exchanges determining, determined to fake it, till they make it as legitimately active trading venues. Nevertheless, fake volume remains a huge problem. Some have disputed Bitwise's claim that the true size of the crypto economy is just 1 20th of its reported total. It is evident, however, that the amount of cryptocurrency credited with changing hands on a daily basis has been significantly overstated. A number of market data websites led by Masari are striving to share unvarnished figures that have not been inflated. That doing so will distinguish these data platforms from CMC and the process can't hurt either. Masari's on-chain FX dashboard now includes a column for real 10, 24-hour volume. The 10 exchanges singled out by Bitwise for their honest reporting. Hmm. So, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, EOS, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. So, you got the top 10 coins here, the top 12. 
real tin 24 hour 322 million for bitcoin hold up coin market caps got that sucker at 9 billion 9 billion ethereum's at 4.2 billion what does this have ethereum at 118 million really and jay is actually correct that the the volume the price really doesn't matter at all but we do want it to be accurate that is a 322 million is a much smaller price than 9 billion well, let me let me look at another one here let's see ripple Ripple showing at 684 million. What are they? What are they showing it as? 63 million? Really? Okay. They could fix this problem overnight if they wanted. Coinsbit is a fiat crypto exchange that's listed on market data websites, including CoinMarketCap. A spokesperson for the platform explained on news.bitcoin.com that it was incumbent upon each exchange to act ethically and to refrain from practices that might artificially inflate volume. Sites like CoinMarketCap are reliant upon the accuracy of the data they're fed via API from cryptocurrency exchanges. Noted, the CoinsBit representative, while CMC can take measures to omit or penalize platforms that have been found to be misreporting volume, the onus is on the exchanges themselves. So, in other words, coin market cap is not making up these numbers. They've got their API attached to these exchanges, so it's, it, it, I mean, it happens automatically. So, if the exchange is reporting the wrong numbers, CMCs, you know, they, they're not making it up. So, they could fix this problem overnight if they wanted, but as it stands, there's no economic incentive to do so. Matus Shroka of market data website Coin Paprika told Bitcoin.com that fake volume is a problem that has plagued the cryptocurrency industry for years, and that blatant market manipulation, including falsely inc reported volume, has been a deterrent to institutional adoption. You know, and I notice, like I still, I, I'm probably 80% convinced that this bot operating on Poloniex, where is it at? There it is, C232 Bitcoin, got a buy order at 4077, and it has a sell order at 4116. I believe, of course, one that is a bot because it's moving too fast and I never see that volume actually change too much because it's never really hitting the point. I believe that it is a bot controlled by Poloniex themselves as a way to manipulate the platform because everybody is following the whale. So if they see a guy that's got $130,000 on a buy order, then what you would do as a small time trader is copy that. So if they got a buy, this is what I would do. This is what I did. If they got a buy order for 4077. You know what I would do? I would put my buy order at probably like 4080 or 4085. If they've got a sell order at 4116, I would put my sell order probably at 4105 or 4100. And stick in between there. You know, you, you, you never fail. I never failed doing that. But you got to watch it because this number can they can change this by order so order real quick without ever hitting these marks by following you know the last price and stuff. So this is manipulation. I cannot prove this that Poloniex owns and controls this. I just noticed this. What was it? December. It was at fifty Bitcoin at the time. A buy order and a sell order, and I was watching how fast things were moving in the chart, so I knew it wasn't a human doing it. And then I realized, why is that volume never changing? Even if it hit that mark, it's always readjusting itself. So 
some uh, it's manipulation going on here. I cannot prove it. That is my own opinion. All right. Let's see. He said it's going to take a concerted effort to stamp out manipulation altogether. But there are already signs that exchanges are feeling the pressure to act more ethically, which will help to further legitimize the cryptocurrency sector in the eyes of the wider public. So every single exchange is going to have to start reporting accurately, not just one. All of them are going to have to do it together, or none of them will. That means Binance, Bit, um, Bit, uh, Poloniex, uh, Bitstamp, all of them, Bittrex. These coin market cap alternatives provide a different take on the crypto market. For traders interested in obtaining more accurate trading figures or accessing features that coin market cap doesn't offer, there is a number of alternatives to explore. Masari, for true trading volume and more accurate figures pertaining to circulating supply of crypto assets, Masari's on chain FX is market leader. Really? Let me see. Let's take a look. All right. So, so this is what Masari looks like. Hmm. Uh, always when I see something new, this is like foreign language to me. So I got to get my eyes adjust to what I'm looking at. All right, we've got the top coins here. Okay, we've got the price, the real 24 hour volume, what they expect it to be by 2050, really? Huh. Uh, liquid market cap. 71 billion, really? 72 billion. Okay, well, they've got that to say. So they're really just challenging the 24 hour volume trading, not this market cap number, because these got the same. Liquid market cap. See, ripples, 30 cents. 34 million. And the thing is, for me, these aren't numbers I actually look at anyway. I just started talking about that the other day. I don't look at the 24 hour volume too much. I really don't care about that. But it, only if you want to look for a sign of a bear market or a bull market. Uh, let's go, let's see if there's another one here. Open market cap. This cryptocurrency data. Tracker uses prices and trading volumes from trusted exchanges only in calculating average prices and total volume. So what are their trusted exchanges only? Let me look at that. Open market cap. Oh, this looks easier on the eyes. This one's too, too much info for me. But this is kind of nice. So let me go to the easier on the eyes one. Market cap. Volume, BTC dominance. Okay, Bitcoin price, their volume, 624 million, 72 billion market cap, circulation. Okay. Let's see another one here. Coin Paprika for clear data on trading volumes plus information on price differences between exchanges. Coin Paprika has it locked, got it locked down. Coin Paprika. Okay, there's a whole lot going on here. Market cap. What was this for? This is the whole market cap. Yeah. Oh, I like this chart. Showing the entire coin market cap in a graph. I like that. Not just a number. I like the visual. Showing Bitcoin's market cap. Okay. Bitcoin price, total market cap. I like that. Let me get my eye used to this. All right. Where, where are the coins? Top 10 gainers. 
in USD, okay. Top 10 losers, okay. Percentage of total dominance, yeah. This is not that bad. I'm gonna save this one. Okay, let's see. Bitcoin.com markets for eligibility. Bitcoin.com's crypto asset charts are clean and comprehensible with a distinct and pleasing aesthetic. The portal also offers crypto charts paired with seven fiat currencies. Okay, I want to take a look. Markets. Hmm. That's easy on the eyes. Very big. BTC, Ethereum, Ripple, EOS. Okay, we've got the volume. We've got the market cap. We've got the price. We've got the 24-hour change here. Got the filter. If I want to look something up, okay. I can switch it to pairs. This is not bad either. I'll save this one. I'm not looking at every single one of these. Block Moto for information on social clutter surrounding cryptocurrency projects. Social clutter and how this may, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's important info. Hold on, let's look at that. Block Moto. Real time market cap. So it's got latest news as well. Yeah, this is very important. Not that pleasing on the eyes. But I guess if you want to know what's going on in the news, and it's real time. Coin market cap's not real time. This is real time. I wonder what exchanges are linked to, though. I'll say that. Coin rate cap. This CMC alternative has a number of useful features, including a cryptocurrency price converter. Oh, okay. Let's, let's take a look at the price converter. Coin rate cap. Buy, sell. Oh, they're connected to Binance. This is real time. I like that. What do you want, 13? So people can actually buy and sell on here. You have to set up an account. Yeah. Eh, eh, not bad. Don't need it though. Coin Gecko for listing crypto assets the moment they're tradable. Listing crypto assets the moment they're tradable? Like green? See, coingecko.com. So you got the top 100 coins. So I guess this lists every coin that's tradable. Okay. Bitcoin, one hour movement. Oh, I like that. One hour movement, 24 hour movement, seven day movement. I like that. I like that very much, actually. You can see the trend here. Where it's going. So over the last seven days, it's still up 2.3%. 2.8, I like this. I'm going to save this one. Coin Gecko. This might end up being my favorite. It looks almost just like Coin Market Cap. Got the market cap up here. You got your 24 hour volume. You got your Bitcoin dominance. So it's got, oh, I know it shows Ethereum and Ripple dominance. What does it look like if I want more info? If I click on Bitcoin, this looks it's just like Coin Market Cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, much more detailed. Well, guess what? This one has just become my favorite over coin market cap. Bitcoin volume is, is by, oh, it's showing it the volume on each exchange too? Oh, wow. 
So you know where you can go to buy this buy this coin and the pairing? Coingecko.com. You have now replaced coin market cap for me. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, was there one more? Coin Codex for customized filters, including three month and year to date exchanges. Coin Codex is perfect, like CoinGecko. It also quick to list new digital assets. New digital, okay, I want to look at them just because. But yeah, CoinGecko. Okay, so this looks familiar. I recognize uh, the Bitcoin dominance, total market cap. Their total market cap is 147 billion. Hold up. Coinbase has it at 144 billion. What about CoinGecko? CoinGecko has it at 146 billion. Huh. So like total market cap, total volume. BTC, market cap 24 hour. So this is also something you can sign up for. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, care about that too much. I just want a data source. So you signing up with them, they have an agenda. So I'm going to go with Coin Gecko is my new go to. And I'm saving this one too, Masari. Masari for the true numbers and Coin Gecko for my day to day stuff. So goodbye, Coin Market Cap. I'll, I'll keep it up on my tabs just to compare. But this one is far more detailed and it lists going to be listing all the new coins. And I like the description. Of this as well exchanges charts social developer historical data mining calculator one hour 24 hours seven days 14 days 30 days yeah i really like this far more info let me put this uh link in the chat box those of you who care Coin Gecko. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our early morning crypto talk. I hope you learned something new. As always, that is the point. If you missed uh, my live I did Friday, I do have it on my Facebook page. If you go, where is it? Scroll down. There it is. So I have it on my Facebook page. If you missed it, you can always go back and watch it. Uh, I probably will be taking it down tomorrow. The company wants to at least get the word out for a little bit, and then they're going to be having their own corporate live. And they don't want to have anything competing at the same time. So I might be pulling this down tomorrow. So make sure you uh, watch it if you haven't seen it yet. For all the updates and info and um with that that is it ladies and gentlemen i will not be back for late night crypto talk tonight because i'll be watching the march madness basketball the elite eight ncaa so you guys have a great day i'll be back tomorrow morning for early morning crypto talk bitcoin brandon now god bless goodbye <laughs>